So as you can see here, I've already taken the Chromecast to pieces to see what's inside and I'm hoping to use a pigtail like this one. This one's designed to modify a laptop uh, Wi-Fi card so you can uh, plug in a uh, different antenna here. So what I'm going to do is use this wire and actually attach it down here on the Chromecast and do away with all this uh, antenna here so somehow I will build this into the actual casing of the Chromecast so we can uh, put on any antenna we like, any omnidirectional antenna and get a much better signal. Also I've got a um, heatsink here which I've already used and cut down and this is why really old electronics never throw them away, you know, you keep them to one side because you never know when you can use parts off them. So what I'm going to do is actually cut this heatsink down a little bit and I'm going to replace this big lump of uh, aluminium here and cut away um, the case here at the top in order so we can fit those fins protruding from the top of this plastic case so it's not all enclosed in here and just baking itself so uh, we'll be able to get some um, ambient air around those fins we don't need a fan or anything like that that should be fine and that should dissipate the heat a lot better away from the electronics underneath these cans so what I'm doing, I'm just using the Dremel to cut out the rectangle shape in order for these fins on this heat sink that I've now cut down to the size I want to protrude through so we get some ambient air going over those fins. And little tip is to use some masking tape or painter's tape as it's sometimes called and that way you can actually draw on that without actually damaging the case itself so you can mark out your rectangle shape to cut out without uh, marking the actual uh, plastic case of the thing you're modifying. So I've finished modifying the case with the heat sink and it's come out rather well so now we've got those fins sticking up so we can have some ambient heat flowing over the top of there and it should do a much better job at dissipating that heat. And I'm only guessing, I mean uh, I really don't know but uh, this is the heat sink that I removed, this is what they uh, put in there and I really do think this is an afterthought, I mean uh, it's just a piece of aluminium, it's roughly cut, it's just got blobs of thermal paste on there, it's not uh, smoothed out and making good contact with that uh, heat shielding on the uh, Chromecast itself. So yeah, I think this is an afterthought, I think uh, when they actually uh, put it together in the case and did some final testing, they discovered they had heat issues and uh, stuck this big piece of aluminium in there. So now we've got this uh, heat sink out of the case and I've just uh, laying it on top here where it would normally marry up to that uh, shield in here when the case is closed and you can see what I mean about this antenna now because uh, you've got this F antenna which is an omnidirectional antenna but you've got that much metal along the sides here that basically you're, what, what you're doing is uh, creating a directional antenna so you're modifying this antenna so any signals coming in from this side are going to be really really weak because uh, of all this metal here blocking it but probably signals that come onto this side are going to be enhanced a little bit because you've got this uh, all this metal acting as a back reflector so that's probably why you know a lot of people go on the forums and complain about the uh, Wi-Fi signal on their Chromecast but then you have uh, a lot of other people saying well I don't have a problem with it but if your router's on this side you're actually going to get a good signal but if like me and your router's on this side of your Chromecast in your house then you know you've got to get through all this metal and uh, really it's uh, inhibiting that signal from uh, actually reaching this antenna and if you have got the same signal problems as what I have got then uh, probably just uh, modifying the actual heatsink here so uh, you're doing away with that big lump of metal here so you've got no metal in this part of the case at all apart from the shield in here you'll probably find that your signal improves uh, a little bit more by just modifying this heat sink so you haven't got all that metal there blocking everything of course you've still got the shield here but um, you'll probably find that it uh, actually improves things a little bit and you may not have to actually modify your antenna so I'm not exaggerating here when I say that this is tiny what we're going to need to do is actually remove this very very small resistor here that's in line with this trace and remove that out of the way and then solder on to this part of the trace here which goes to the uh, chip itself the Wi-Fi chip and we're going to be soldering on our driven element part of the coax which is the center connector of the coax onto here 
and all this here is basically ground plane so the outside of the coax is going to be soldered on to here and we can solder on anywhere on here to the actual ground plane all this is going to be ground plane but uh, that's the tricky bit removing that little resistor there and soldering our center connector of our coax onto there and that's why I've chosen to use this laptop coax because uh, it's really really thin and it stands the best chance of actually getting it connected anything thicker than this and you're just not going to be able to do it so what I'm thinking is maybe if we remove this with the Dremel because we're not going to need it anymore and it should give us a little bit more room inside the case in order to connect this SMA connector so I've drilled a small hole inside of the case and fed the SMA connector and the coax through and what I'm going to do now I've just marked off roughly uh, the amount of PCB I'm going to cut away from here so I'm going to cut that away from there and then trim this coax down to size and actually start to solder it on into these po points here so uh, really fiddly job but I'm not going to be able to do the soldering on camera my camera is just not up to that so not the easiest job in the world to actually modify one of these it's really really small um, I got rid of that uh, resistor like I said you have to do and it just disappeared, I think it actually stuck to the end of my soldering iron I did manage to scrape away a bit of the solder mask and I did manage to get the centre core of that coax soldered down to that trace that leads into this chip it was a lot easier for me to remove the can so I could get the angle of the soldering iron in there and then here, scraped away the solder mask here and uh, soldered down the actual outer braid for coax down to the ground plane here I just put plenty of solder on there because this is going to be the strain relief to stop that from actually pulling away and ripping itself out of that trace so I've put a very thin layer of uh, heat sink compound on there and I'm just going to lay the coax in that spiral shape and hopefully it will all fit back together again so a bit of a fiddly job but I've managed to get it all in there the hardest part was actually uh, getting that uh, quick setup switch back in there and in place but uh, yeah so now all that left to do is to put the base on and then we can give it a test so here it is all finished off with the uh, heat sink in place and a small antenna just uh, nothing massive just a uh, 2.5 dbi dipole antenna here and uh, hopefully with the heat sink it's not going to be shutting down and restarting um, only did it uh, every now and again like I said it's done it three times and I've had it uh, five days but it does get really really hot and I don't leave it on overnight and uh, hopefully with this uh, antenna modification I want to now pick up a good signal from my router so we won't have uh, buffering problems and uh, loss of signal so I thought I'd come back and update you at the end of this video because I've been using this Chromecast for the last four days and it hasn't restarted itself once not at all it doesn't get uh, as hot as it did previously it still gets a little bit warm but nowhere near as hot and I really wish I recorded the uh, temperatures before and after the mod so we could compare them but uh, anyway but um, the antenna mod is working well as well it uh, doesn't buffer like it used to it will every now and again depending uh, probably on the time of day more than anything with YouTube but uh, it uh, s sticks with a stable connection to my router now and uh, I'm more than pleased now with this product and I've been using it uh, more than I did before but uh, definitely the modifications have helped so if you like this video as always please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more videos like this I'm always modding things and building things and uh, hopefully I look forward to seeing you on the next video